I wanted to look at the Nmap port mapping tool. First of all, to get it, you just need to install it. So do sudo yum install Nmap, or you do apt install Nmap, or whatever you need. But you get your tool first. So I'll get it installed right here. And next, once you have your Nmap tool installed, you can go ahead and scan other machines. So I've got this uh, machine Orchid over here, and it's running multiple services, and it has different things coming through the firewall. So let's take a look at what the firewall shows us. So I do firewall cmd list all, and you can see what the firewall is allowing through. It has this cockpit thing, some DHCP version 6 client, HTTP, HTTPS, a Minecraft server, a Samba server, SH server, Terraria server, and then it's got a couple of ports right here. So these are the things that are supposed to be getting through. Now, not all these are going to get detected by Nmap, but we're going to go ahead and do a scan. So first of all, I'll do Nmap, and I tell the name, Orchid. And the first thing it says is, well, nothing. We're just waiting here until it comes back. All right, so that took about just over a minute for me to get that scan back, so 67 seconds. And let's look at what it actually reports. So first of all, you can see that it, we're running Nmap. Um, we can see which machine I scanned. And then we can see down here, we have the ports that were not shown, which are filtered ports. So 993 is filtered ports. And you can see the states right here. So you got, so right here, SSH is open. It says port 80 is closed. The 139 is open. 443 is closed. 445 is open. These ones right here are closed. So what do these closed ones mean? Well, closed means that it sends a probe through. The probe hits the server, the machine, and that machine responds and says that port is closed. That means it got through the firewall. The other at 993, they might be open. We don't know. What happens is we sent the probe over, the probe hit the machine, the machine threw it away or didn't respond. So that's filtered. If it responds with open, we know we got through. And if it says close, we know we got through the firewall, but we know the machine responded as being down. So if I go over to the server and I go ahead and start the server, or just start the SSH, not the SSH, start the Apache server. So system CTL start uh, HTTPD. If I go ahead and start that up and I do a scan again, then I would expect to see the HTTP and HTTPS both showing as open. All right, that was 69 seconds. And you can see now that the HTTP and HTTPS have both switched from their closed state to open. And the only difference really here is that now the service is running. And so that's what you can do. You can kind of keep track of this. So why would you need this? Well, Nmap is great because you can determine whether or not you can get through the firewall. It's really important sometimes to figure out, is your firewall actually open? So if you are setting up a server and you're trying to test things, you want to know, can I even get through the firewall? And if you're getting through it and you're getting closed, that means you're getting through, the firewall is open, but the service is down. If it shows as being, well, not listed, just being filtered, that means the firewall is blocking it. It doesn't matter if it's up or down, it's being blocked by the firewall. And if it says something like enclosed instead of filtered, that usually means the firewall itself is just down. So this is really helpful. If you wanted to scan just a specific port, let's say I wanted to know, is port um, 80 open? I can do 80 or I can do 80 and 443. And I can run this and see, okay, yes, 80 and 443 are both open. And you can test them. You can test a range. I can say, well, I want to do uh, 22 through 25, uh, and it can show you this range and say, okay, yes, 22 is open, and 23, 24, and 25 are filtered. 
And so you can use that to kind of figure out if things are open. But Nmap is a great tool, and so you should use it.